Hello everybody and welcome to Fishing North Atlantic on this foggy winter morning. Now we're going to be doing some trawling. First we've got to get out of this port. So while I uh, while I manoeuvre this trawler away from the pier, the docking area there, ooh, of which I may, I may be going to hit here. This is not getting off to a good start. Let's just put it in reverse. Let me just make this quite clear. This is by no means a tutorial on trawling. However, you may pick up a few things if you're struggling with the uh, with the trolley now more on that in a little bit let's just try and get out of here let's just back it up right that's looking better we should be safe now there we go that's nice we're not going to hit the docking area there Okay, so, so yes, as I was saying, this is not meant by any means to be a tutorial at all. However, you may pick up a few um, things. If you are struggling with the trolley, I go by some simple rules. Um, I think there's a lot of videos out there which seem to overcomplicate um, the trolley. Um, there's just a couple of simple rules to follow, and you will see them a little bit later um, when we actually lower the, uh, the trawling nets into the water. Well, first off, we've actually got to get into deep water. Don't try this trawling in shallow water. Um, it just won't work. You need to be at least over 100 meters depth in this particular boat. This is the smaller trawler, so this one requires you to be at least 100 meters in depth before you uh, lower um, your, trawling, uh, your trawling net. So, let's just plot a course out of here. We'll use autopilot. So yeah, it's just why I've set the autopilot up there. This is more of a let's play. So I just, I just want to make that clear. It's not a tutorial on trawling. However, you may find it useful, but uh, yeah, it's just a let's play. So let's play fishing North Atlantic and let's go do a bit of trawling. So bottom left hand corner, 80,000 kilograms is my storage on this boat. So I'm looking today to be catching hopefully 80,000 kilograms of fish. Right, so let's plot a course using the fast travel. Else we're going to be here all day just sailing down here. Right, there's some, I've had some good results down here. So let's just fast travel. It's gone dark, Captain. Put lights on. Just take my crew member out the galley there. As you can see, I have got eight. I've got eight. One, two, three. Yep, eight crew members on board this ship. And we will fast travel past my uh, my crabbing area down here i've had some good results trawling down here i don't know if i'm going to get a good result today i really don't this could be a long video so here we go now if you notice when i took i had a crew member in the galley that was to cook the food because we've got eight crew members on board and they could get tired rather quickly so i'm plotting a course here just a square in this area on the map 
and I shall enable autopilot and the autopilot will uh, just enable that the autopilot will sail the boat for me so I don't have to worry about it and I should set the speed for the autopilot up here to three, three knots Okay, so that's the course plotted. The autopilot is going to take control of maintaining my speed and my course. Now, crew members, we need four crew members set to trawl. So there we go, and it's set to trawl. So we've just got to wait for our crew members to get into position. Now once they're in position we press this little button down here, press A, haul, trawl. So the nets start to go down. Now look at the big circle which we will use as my cursor here. These two, that one there and that one there where that circle is are the nets going down, the wires of the nets going down. We may catch some fish actually going down, looking at what's on the uh, the monitor there, what's on the cam camera. We look as though we've been real lucky and we are right over fish. So I would expect we are actually going to get some fish in the net as we actually lower, lower it here. I wouldn't be surprised at all. So we've got to get that uh, that trawl net down to at least a hundred meters so this here these here you can see my little per pink cursor hopefully you can see that it may not be big enough but uh, we're currently down to 82 meters on this side and 90 meters on the other so we want to get these at least a hundred meters just over a hundred meters and generally is a simple rule I have one slightly higher than the other and I keep them within 20 meters of each other and that is rule number one for me I, I don't go over 20 meters between each wall, um, wall wire is the proper, proper term of what they are called and we're catching fish straight away straight away look now here can you see me pink cursor you see these little dots you see them how they're red now to get that, the net, now we want all them green, to get them all green. Once they're all green, you, you, I think that's perfect. So two simple rules, these warp wires on this ship, over 100 meters, keep one wire slightly higher than the other, but within 20 meters of the other one. And them green dots, you want to be aiming to get them all green. Once you've done that, you've set your, you've set your trawl net perfect. And it's just a matter of finding, locating the fish. We should fill, we might fill this straight away. Now, I'm trying here to get all them little red dots on that spider web green. So I'm just doing a little bit of adjusting on the warp nets here until I've done that. There we go, spot on. Look at that, and we're, and we're filling the net. So, the spider's web, as I will call it, all on the green. 60% full of fish at the moment. And, yeah, we filled, we filled it. We have filled it. We've been really lucky here. We have filled it. So, I'm trying not to overcomplicate this, uh, where you see this monitor and this screen with you know all the technical jargon because if I'm honest I don't know it I go by two simple rules and it may help you the warp wires on this boat and it's for this boat because I believe the other um, trawler you have to go even deeper now 
more wires on the Dex Dexter, I think this boat is called. Um, 100 meters. They've got to be over 100 meters. You will have to cons you will have to adjust them slightly. And what I do is I tend to have one slightly higher than the other, but keep them within 20 meters of each other regarding the depth. And the spider web, as I call it, all the little circles you're aiming to get on the green. And now, if you have the correct speed, I set this boat at three knots, and you keep your warp wires within 20 meters of each other regarding the depth, one slightly higher. Once you've located the fish, boom, you should be catching. One of the simple rules I follow, and as you can see here, it worked. It worked real, real easily. So we are now hauling um, the warp wires up with the dredge, not the dredge, with the trawl net on. Um, once this has gone to 20 meters, we can haul it aboard. We can't haul it aboard until the warp wires are at least 20 meters I think on this on this boat that was a novice all this can seem quite complicated especially when you've got all these things going on on the screen but I just concentrate just just on the catch and the warp wires and that little spider web and that's all and then sailing around trying to locate the fish and you may have to do adjustments on them warp wires. As you, as you saw in this video on this catch, I didn't go very deep. Um, you may have to go a lot deeper. Right, what's going on here? Classic mistake. Right, we need to change the crew members here. We've got them currently to set trawl. Just up here, you click that there and you want the set to haul. So that's why it wasn't working just so just set that to haul. So press the button again, haul on board, and the crew members will do the job for you. There, the, there you go, look at that. Great big net full of fish. Lovely jubbly. So let's see what we've actually got on board here. Just over 45,000 kilograms of fish we have just caught. So that's nice. So we've got a remaining 34,788.6 kilograms of space to be exact left in storage. So we'll load the nets again in a bit, but when I next haul them up, I might end up having to chuck some fish overboard because uh, we'll have too many and won't have enough storage on board the uh, on board the boat. Right, so let's get the uh, let's get the boat started again. I did stop the boat. I don't know if I mentioned that. Did I mention that? I actually cut the engines um, and the reason I do that I didn't mention it I forgot what I've said now doing all this <laughs> it's a bit complicated <laughs> to talk and do it um, what I do when I'm bringing the, the warp wires up I generally cut not cut you don't cut them no 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 I generally um, cut the engines or idle the engine because if I'm still traveling I find the back of the boat is sinking it's tilting so I cut the engines. I don't know if that's the proper procedure. I really don't know. But uh, if you try it, you'll see and you, you'll know what I mean. But I generally just um, idle on top of the water. Right. Another crew member I need. Let's set some of them to work. So machine gutting, we've got a crew member and we've got one on freezing. So we'll just set them to work while we uh, lower these uh, warm warp wires again into the into the ocean. So 
So just a quick one, just on the crew there that I've got on Gutty and Freezy. On this particular vessel, you do have to um, freeze and stack the fish before you can unload them. And when you've got 80,000 kilograms of fish on board, that can take quite a long time. But there is, you can fast forward time. We will do that, we will do that shortly. You'll see how I do that in a short while. So, I'm expecting, looking at the screen there, to, we're on the fish again, there's fish here. Um, I'm expecting possibly to catch a few as we lower the net once we get below or get down to over 100 meters in depth. There you go, boom, we're catching a few. Our spider web there, I will call it the spider web, is all on the green at the moment as it's as it's going down. We've catch, I've, I've been real lucky here, it doesn't always work this way. Normally I have to sail around trying to locate the fish, but boom, bang, we're straight in, we're on the money, we've got them. We filled the net, we filled the net. <laughs> Spiderweb all on the green. Warp wires nicely set and boom. Yeah. I've got one slightly higher or lower. I've got one slightly lower than the uh, than the other one. And that's how I roll. I keep both warp wires within 20 meters of each other. And you will have to do little adjustments on that. When you've, when you've got your warp wires within 20 meters of each other, you will find you will have to do slight little adjustments on the, uh, on the warp wires. But today in this Let's Play, and this is a Let's Play, it's by no means a tutorial. Maybe you've learned something, I don't know. But uh, in today's Let's Play, we've been real lucky. We were on the fish straight away. That isn't always the case. So we'll bring these fish up again now. I'm expecting to lose quite a few fish here because we haven't got enough storage available on board this boat. And I believe this boat is actually maxed out on storage at 80,000 kilograms. I don't think we can um, get any more storage on board this boat. I think I actually maxed it out on storage at 80,000 kilograms of storage. So it looks like we will be chucking a few fish overboard. So let's just um, haul trawl. We've got to set that, else it won't work. And we can now press the button, haul trawl. And the crew members will bring the net on board. Let's see how many we're going to be throwing away. How many we're going to be chucking back. Give them a kiss and chuck them back. <laughs> Quite a few kisses that will. I'm expecting around 16 kilograms of fish going back in the water. Right, storage for 15,000 kilograms. Just over 15,000 kilograms of fish have gone back overboard. We lost there. So that's it, that's the boat full. We are full to capacity. We've got a full boat, full load of fish. Money, 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 money. Right, we've got to get the crew working on our way back to port. So, gutting, we've got, uh, we've got a two man or two person gutting machine. Same for freezing, we can have two members on freezing and we can actually have three members on stacking. So, yeah, this is going to take quite a long time. So I'll show you how I do this. I fast travel and I, uh, I skip time um, to get this done. Now, if you want to play it full sim like, you can sail all the way back to the harbor of your choice, preferably the one with the best prices. Um, yeah, but for the purpose of the video, we're not going to play it full on sim where we sail all the way back. We will, uh, we will be uh, using fast travel. So let's see. Let's see what we've got down here. It looks like mostly haddock. 
um, we pulled out the water a lot of haddock a few redfish and pollock uh, I don't know why this is flashing why is this flashing that's never happened to me before right, stop no no it's flashing again that has never happened to me that has never ever done that flashed where my little pollock fish is there me catch report it's never flashed like that the only reason I can think it's actually doing that, and I'm not making excuses, is I have just upped my resolution in the game. So maybe my PC is throwing a little bit of a wobble and it can't cope. I don't know why that's flashing. Does that flash on anybody else? It's never done that on me before, I can honestly say, up until now. And the only thing I've changed is my resolution. So, um, yeah. So, mostly Haddock we've had. Pollock and a few redfish. And that's flashing. I've no idea why it's doing that. Never done it before. Yeah, it makes it very difficult for me to see what's going on down there on the catch report when it's actually flashing like I, I, I suspect it could be because I've upped my resolution. Anyway, regardless, let's carry on. So, finances. We want, well, I, want, I actually want to go where I'm going to get the best price from. So, uh, what have we got? Haddock. I'm, go, I'm just going to go off Haddock. I'm not going to... What have we got on board? We've got a few redfish as well, haven't we? And did we get Pollock? I can't remember. But I'll go I'll go on Haddock. I'll go off the Haddock prices and that's it. So which one is going to give me the best prices for Haddock? It looks like it's Yarmouth. So uh, we are going to be going to Yarmouth. That's where we're heading. So let's plot a course. No, Yarmouth is up here. There we go. We could just fast travel straight into Yarmouth, uh, and uh, we'll have to do all the all the uh, gutting and freezing and stacking in port. But I'll do most of it on my way. Hopefully, by the time I've got to the entrance of uh, Yarmouth, there I will have um, packed, packed and stacked. Or frozen and stacked and gutted most of the uh, most of the fish. We'll see how we go along here. What? Well, who's going to tire first? There we go, Graham. Graham's got tired, so we'll just stop that fast travel and we'll have a look what's going on with our crew members. Yes, Graham has packed in. I think he was on stacking, wasn't he? And he's uh, he's gone to quarters to. Uh, have a meal and a rest so yeah let's have a look at these other crew members that looks okay for now we'll just change the, the emma there is it emma we'll just give her a bit of food and that's just balanced it off so all that's that all that's operating quite nicely there so we'll just continue fast traveling who's going to tie you next as you can see, I'm having no problems with fast travelling whatsoever. There's lots of activity on that map. There's lots and lots of boats. And Thomas is now too tired to work. So let's uh, let's see what's going on. Thomas was on gutting, I think he was on, wasn't he? So looks like he was on. So he's having a meal. Hopefully he will recover quite quickly. Uh, we'll just move that guy in there. Give him a meal. How's that all looking? Emma. Emma's quite a good cook. I'm not being sexist, but she is a good cook. Um, so Emma will go into the galley and cook some meals. So let's fast travel again. Let's see how we get on. Is anybody going to tire? Let's have a look at the crew. What's going on here? Oh, we've not got much to do now. That's uh, not looking too bad. We've nearly done it all. 
nearly done it all so we'll make a few adjustments and I'll probably skip time here just outside port before we go in I will skip time and uh, how do we do that I need the clock there we go I'll skip three hours no one hour three hours three hours or one hour what should we do we'll do two hours there we go let's have a look now at what's going on nearly done we nearly have done just a little bit more to do let's put him there and rest him give him a meal Emma can have a rest I think it, it's his name Emma you call her Emma I don't know if her name was Emma I think that's Emma King isn't it uh, let's rest again two hours have the crew finished let's check on them how we're we getting on we've got uh, we've got a bit more freezing to do so let's just juggle these uh, crew members around give the ones who are hungry a meal <laughs> and uh, gutting we don't need to gutting it's freezing let's put two on freezing why is that not working it should be working ah no freezing has been done you fool right stacking we want them all on stacking there we go that shouldn't take long it's quite a bit of juggling around that's why i have um, eight crew members on board this boat turn all the lights off we don't need the lights on the work lights we'll turn them off now and we'll sail tell you what I haven't done should we have a tour of the boat right let's just have a quick tour of the boat where should we go down here so try down here there we are this is the galley this is the kitchen my crew keep it nice and clean look no mess looks brand new uh, in here what's in here oh here we go here's the sleeping quarters we've got two bunks and we've got eight crew members on board nine including the captain so you know figure that one out um, think what you think about that sleeping arrangements two bunks share between eight crew members captain will sleep in this captain's chair on the bridge right down here can we go in there no this is the gutting area and packing area I would imagine through here what's through here I can't actually walk through that door but you can you can see what's going on in there warp wires whatever you call them thingy my jiggies can we shut that door so there's the gutty machine looks like it's running and i'd imagine storage is below us so what's up here have a look have a look around here this is where all the crew members you see them they all they're all standing along here hauling and setting the, uh, the warp wires, the uh, trawl net, finger me jiggy, whatever you, uh, whatever you call it. So can we go up here? That says go down. Where are we now? What's happened here? Where are we? How do we get up there? Go up. There we go. Got the radar up there, it looks like. Lots of aerials. We're on the crow's nest wobbles. I'll get your binoculars out. What can we see? Aye, there be land there, lad, there be land. We're not far from port. So there we go, little tour of the boat. How we get, right, where are we? Where are we? Right, let's set um, fast travel in. You have to be careful going in here because of other boats. You can collide actually going in here. Are we going to collide? Yes, we have. There we go. We've hit. Normally, I hit the big boat, the great big one. Uh, no, we've we've met one of the little ones. Give him a little peep of our own there. Now, we didn't lose. I don't think did we? I think we might have lost some health actually on the boat there, but uh, might have had a little bit of damage or may. Have course that import on leaving but uh, I don't normally have a lot of trouble with these AI um, I see a lot of comments a lot more people seem to have a lot more trouble with the AI than uh, than what I do um, 
Right, so yeah, we're all machine gutted, we're all frozen and we're all stacked. So job, the crew has now done its job and all we've got to do is sail into port and sell our fish. if you've never played this game you can you can sail into ports or you can you can fast travel you can sail anywhere around on the map in your boat you don't have to use the yet uh, the fast travel options but uh, it takes a lot longer sailing around got a course plotted to go into this port here but I shall use the fast travel option otherwise it's it's going to take a long time so we'll just go straight in there we go fast travel boom here we are abracadabra as if by magic we we we're in the port And it's a lovely rainy day, just like England. So yes, we want to sell the fish. Uh, Three hundred and seventy-six thousand dollars. So three hundred seventy-six thousand six hundred and forty-five point ninety-five dollars to be precise. Price-wise, or on average, they're not low. They're uh, the average. We mainly got had it. Average price for Pollock, average price for Haddock, and an average price for Redfish today. Gives us a grand total of $376,645.95. We have, of course, got to pay the crew $61,000. Nice earner. They did well, didn't they? So there we go. That's it. A little bit of trawling. Yarmouth. I think you've been, I don't know how you pronounce that. I may have pronounced it wrong. I don't know my pronunciations, my Norwegian pronunciations whatsoever. But, uh, yeah, this video was by no means meant to be a tutorial. It was meant to be a just a let's play. Let me just check this. Yeah, I have actually did have maximum storage capacity on board this boat so it's 80,000 kilograms um, I've got a lot of things to upgrade on this boat here door sensor I haven't got that on I don't think I need it I haven't bought it I haven't got much money actually um, I'm saving up now for my next boat so that's it chaps hope you enjoyed the video um, and I'll see you all again if you like these fishing videos smack that like button because um, the more people that smack that like button um, we can do more, more of them. Um, so, yeah. We're going to end it here on a rainy day in fishing North Atlantic. Stay safe and I'll see you all again real soon.